Hey everybody, this is Lay Rocket. Um, just wanted to say hey to everybody and hope everybody's doing all right and having a great had a great weekend. I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, the people of Jefferson County and say thank you guys. You guys were great. You guys threw through a great show and threw a great party on Saturday night with Ted Nugent. I uh, salute the people that put that together because it was an extraordinary undertaking and I was just impressed with uh, how people I was treated and I salute the people that helped me out when I had a difficult situation uh, with everything but thank you so much much love to y'all and just wanted to also talk about some of the issues that I had been seeing have seen lately on the news went online today this afternoon to be exact and the first thing that I ran across was the fact that the Miss Universe pageant had just occurred and a woman from young woman who was 18 um, um, had won the competition but the storyline was that she had passed out or fainted because of after during a post um, pageant interview after winning and I guess my comment on this is just the fact of when you with all that she had been through with the preparation and not and not being able to I guess eat to some extent because she had to worry she had to fit into this um, image of what is beautiful and for some reason the image that we or the, the ideology that we believe in the world right now is that thin is beautiful by and by and large as a culture this is what the media tends to throw out there um, and I have a problem with that because I believe that that facilitates young women to believing that the only way that they can be perceived as beautiful by the culture is because is by being thin and as a result they um, re choose to begin not eating and starving themselves and maybe just and as a result obtain eating disorders now I'm not saying that eating disorders are by and large because society says you have to be thin because individual choice still has, plays a big huge role on this but you have to watch the images and the messages that you send out to a culture by and large the second thing that I wanted to talk about was the J Mac story that I saw on ESPN. J Mac is a young man who was the manager of his high school basketball team, and for the last four minutes and 19 seconds of the game, of one game, he got to play, and he scored 20 points and rained down several, about I think I believe it was seven threes, or something, something along that line. But the the now I salute J Mac for what he did, and I think it's extraordinary because I think it pro sh proves and shows the world that people no matter what challenge or disability they may have can, can play on an equal playing field and can play well but the underlying message that I saw in this story was the fact that it was an extraordinarily heroic thing that he did because of, of him having that disease the disease or the disability to some extent because it's not a disease of um, autism and the problem that I have with that is there's no need to I guess as a culture feel sorry or look down upon or so anything of that such on people with disabilities because I think the like I said the underlying message of this was that this was a, a great uh, even greater feat because of the fact that he had the autism there have been many athletes with disabilities um, that have performed well on a sports stage. I think the movie Murder Ball proved that. And we shouldn't treat our, anybody any differently, or even our perception of those people be any differently based on because they don't look a certain way, because they don't have the same, because they may have a, ch a physical or mental or emotional challenge. Why do we treat these people differently? Um, now I'm not saying we should. Maybe them, but we don't. We don't necessarily have to be. We don't have to be rude about it. We, you know, just treat them like everybody else, because that's what everybody wants. That's tr that's when true equality happens. When we get perception out of the way and just think, let things be the way they are. And this is why I have a problem with the major things that are on television, because we have these images of people, of what we what we think is beautiful, what we think is acceptable, and that's just not the case. We don't. 
entertainment and the and television anymore doesn't represent the culture by and large. And the last thing I wanted to talk about today was the aspect of the steroid issue because I think the reality of it is, as far as I'm concerned, is that baseball and doesn't want the steroids issue to really go away because the more pe- players take steroids or the better performance pe- the players have because of taking any sort of enhancing drug, the more money that goes in the owners and baseball's pocket. And what's sad is many, many players have died because of their steroid use or have their lives shortened or came up with diseases because of the, of enhancing their, their, um, using enhancing drugs, a la Ken Caminiti, and I would say that another example of this would be Reggie White, although he never t- took steroids, we, we bulk these athletes up so much that their individual health suffers, and until we emphasize as a culture that individual health is more important than individual performance and team performance, then we're going to suffer, and, and as a result, people are going to suffer. Well, that's just my opinion or my viewpoint on these topics. If you got anything to comment on or post uh, your viewpoint or anything to say about what I've said or anything that you agree or disagree with, please feel free to do so. Always remember the two things about me. One, to always keep on rocking and have a good time. And if you got something to say, just say it because the world wants to hear from you one way or the other. And the more people speak out, the more we learn. Well, till next time, have a great day, have a great evening, and talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.